Guys, Dora and Darbohra and Lum in the Akoma Rabba episode, Yuta Tahlita Perfetta. The Lum said in Kun at Nikol Ikel Li and personal meant at Matil Palo Abel, Ikel Nigerian. Serin Kun at Nithlu Fidar, the blessing, blessing Mara Nigerian, and if you came out family at a Hatay Java Payu. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm good. Okay. I have been so excited to meet you. Me too. <laughs> okay, you can come to my kitchen and look some things that I prepared already. Mm. <laughs> so, what do we have today? A goosey soup. Goosey it's soup. one of the African soup we have. We have a lot. Uh, the whole Africa, they, they like this. Mm -hmm. Mostly Nigerians. Are you going to explain to me these very new ingredients to me? <laughs> this is a palm oil. Mm -hmm. We use it to make our African soups. This uh, we call this crawfish. 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 So this is the skin from the cow. Okay. It's, this is uh, shaki. Shaki. Motis call it a uh, kirsha. Yeah, we call it kirsha. We do eat that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chili. This is very hot. That's spicy. But you can get this only in African shop. What is this? We call it a bitter leaf. Bitter leaf. Huh? But in my okay. country, we call it onubu. Onubu. Yes. This is a dry fish as well. You know this, the shell is here, fish, the fresh Sorry. one. Mm -hmm. This is one of the, the intestines in a cow. And this is the main thing, the egusi. How, how long have you been in Malta, blessing? I've been in Malta since 16 years now. 16 years? Yeah. And um, what brought you to Malta? What made you choose Malta? Yeah, because my brother is here. Yeah? So, uh, so I came to visit him from there. I, dis I decided to stay because I love Malta. My brother came here as a footballer. Yeah? Later I got married here. He married to Maltese. He was married to a Maltese, yes, okay. Yes, yes. So blessing, all these ingredients are very new to me. Can you actually find these in Malta? Yes, you can find it in Malta. You can go to uh, Massa. Yeah? There's a center place yeah. in Massa. You can get a lot of African shops there. Yeah. We eat it with a uh, samolina. Samolina? Or pandeyam, this pandeyam. So we eat with our hands there. Eh? Yeah. We don't eat with a spoon or anything so that you can enjoy the food. That's amazing. Yeah. And you have a family here now? Yes, yes. I have my family now. I have my husband now. I have my two kids. They were born here. Yes. And they go to school in Malta, yes, I guess. Yes, they go. So, have you ever tried any Maltese food? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. What was it? Uh, this what they call rabbit. Rabbit. You tried rabbit. Yeah, I tried and I like this um, hops. What they call that? Uh, the bread. This. The, yeah, hops, hops. Oh, mama mia! I love him mm. so much. <laughs> but they told me that he makes me fat, but I love it a lot. Do you do you eat rabbit in Nigeria? Yes, we do. You do. Okay, yes. so it wasn't a big surprise. Do you know any Maltese words? Yeah. Yeah. Mela. Mela. Kifinti. <laughs> <What? laughs> Can you teach me something in your language? Yes, I will teach you. Kibuafai. Kibuafai? Uh, what does it mean? What is your name? What is your Kibuafai? Mm -hmm. Ago na ago. Uh, <laughs> ago na ago. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Abu na ago. Mm -hmm. So do you mostly eat African food at home? Mela. And my kids, they love it so much. It's spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> wow. What what about maybe a bad experience that you went through just because you're foreign? I can remember there's a time I was working um, in the continental. There's a lady in the bus. She was saying, go back to your country, go back. And I was like, who is she talking to? But when I came back, Came down from the bus. She was coming with me too. So she was shouting, "Go back to your country! Go back to your country!" I told her, "Yes, here's my country. So I'm not going back. I have a god. The man is is the owner. The god is the owner of the land. So I'm I'm one of the daughters of God. So we're all the same, right? So we are the same. So like this uh, Corona, the thoughts is only in Africa that have it. You know." When they see you, they don't want to near you. Yeah. Even I was passing, someone was calling me Corona. 
I don't think they will change. I don't think it can change because it, it, the thing is getting worse every time. Even we just came here two two days ago, or three days ago here. Yeah. There's a lady here. She said, "Mother, similarly, she said she, she, she wants to start the problem because we are black or what? We work very hard here. I very, don't know why they hate hard. us. Very That's true. That's but true. I don't know why they hate us. That's it makes me very, very sad that people like me, people who are Maltese, um, make someone like you, who is just human as me, feel uncomfortable in my country. And I don't think this should be the case. And I have hope that through education and through exposure and through meeting each other, talking, eating with each other, Everything hopefully will change. this will change. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so too. When I had my daughter in uh, Cospicua, Maybe we are just only me and my husband there, no. just a uh, black, no black people there. No one in Costa Yes, Rica. and they love my daughter because my daughter was so beautiful then. <laughs> in Costa Rica, so there's a lady, she would tell me, please keep her with me, don't pay. And then I was working from Costa Rica to um, and, uh, Sun Crest, I worked there. Then so she go. would keep your child? Yes, she would keep because she loved the girl so much, you know. Okay. So, so some of them, they are good. Yeah, yeah. I have been looking at this and I am wondering what it is. This uh, uh, is a, it's a cow tail because I was crowned here as a Ada Anyoma. Ada Anyoma? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Uh, the head of all the women. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. You said that you use it to dance as well, this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you going to teach me how to dance? Is Tana Mibniya Fulim Habba or respect Lenkul Hat? Omenu or Jamie and Fain Jay? Flimkin, Nibno Sochieta Ahiyat. Thank you guys for watching Dahlita Perfetta today with this beautiful Nigerian family. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Please let us know what you think of it and if you would like to see more.